Okay, YouTube, here we go. Um, Raptus News just came out with another video, and he's slamming white folks and Gentiles, and he's, he says here on the bottom of this thing, it says, uh, here is the Bible stating its own infiltration by Gentiles. He's got some scriptures up on the uh, page here, uh, one of which, Mark 7, 27, but Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled, for it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it into the dogs. That's his theme, by the way. The Gentiles are dogs. But uh, I'm going to blow him out of the water here real soon, like he's never been blown out before. So hang on, guys. It's going to be fine. Another scripture, uh, Matthew 7, 6, says, Do not give uh, dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. And he makes reference to, that's what Gentiles do. You know, they, they take the scriptures and try to beat them up and stuff like that. But the truth is, he's the cherry picker. He throws scriptures out left and right, left and right. He'll do one video and he'll say that the New Testament is not scripture and it's all corrupt and all that. And then he turns right around in another video and he starts quoting scripture to try to prove his point. So he's like all over the map. But um, here we go. So, you know, Hebrews talks about um, the necessity for allowing yourself to be chastised. Which is exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the scripture to chastise him. Uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture. That means rap shouldn't be throwing scripture out. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine. For reproof. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I charge thee therefore before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall judge the quick and the dead. At his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, and after their own lust they shall heap unto themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and they shall turn into fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and make proof of thy ministry. Which is exactly what I'm trying to do right here and right now. <clears throat> now another scripture necessary here is Hebrews 12.1. And it says, uh, Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses. Yeah, right, they're watching. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endureth such contradiction of sinners and against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and ye have forgotten the exaltation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastising of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure your chastising, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom father chastises not. But if he be without chastisement, wherein of all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. You get that? So what you want to be? You want to be a bastard? Or do you want to be a son? Okay, Psalm 2216. For dogs have surrounded me, a band of evildoers have encompassed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Now that is a clear cut reference to the Lord Jesus Christ, who he denies is Lord. He also denies he's the Son of God and the only begotten Son of God. He's done countless videos on this. Um, and so many people have come against him, but he continues to keep going that direction. Okay, so here's another scripture, Mark 7, 27, 28. And he was saying unto her, Let the children be satisfied first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she said, but she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, but even the dogs 
under the table feed on the children's crumbs. Okay, also notice that Caleb means dog. Caleb means dog. So remember Joshua and Caleb, the story of uh, Joshua and Caleb in the Bible where they were scouting out uh, Canaan and uh, they saw the, the giants there. Okay, so here's another point. Now when Methuselah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was coming to David and fell on his face and did reference. And David said, Methuselah. And he answered, Behold thy servant. And Methuselah bowed down and said, What is your servant that you take an interest in a dead dog like me? Now here's an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite calling himself a dead dog. Okay? There's various translations of that. More notes on Methuselah was the son of Jonathan, who was the son of King Saul, and a special friend of King David. The Bible actually records that they were closer than brothers. So Methuselah said to David, what do you have to do with me? I'm a dead dog. Okay? So I mean like, you know, why would he say something like that? The truth is he was just being humble just like the lady that was talking to uh, to Jesus I'm gonna get into that in a minute now let's talk about who's responsible for the death of Christ real quick and the answer is uh, first there's no doubt the religious leaders of Israel Israel Hebrews Jews were responsible for the death of Jesus Matthew 6 28 3 4 tells the chief priests and the scribes, the Pharisees, the elders, and even the people themselves called out. Uh, crucify him, crucify him, you remember that. Okay, so getting back to the real important point here. Um, the people of Israel were also complicit in the death of Jesus. They were the ones who shouted, crucify him, crucify him, as he stood on trial before Pilate. Luke 23, 21. And they also cried for the thief Barabbas to be released instead of Jesus. Peter confirmed this in Acts 2, 22, 23. When he told the men of Israel, you have taken by lawless hands and crucified and put to death Jesus of Nazareth. In fact, the murder of Jesus was a conspiracy involving Rome, Herod, Jewish leaders, and the people of Israel, a diverse group of people who never worked together on anything before or since, who have come together, or who came together, this one time to plot and carry out the unthinkable murder of the Son of God. Okay, also note that since uh, Rap is quoting the scripture, we're going to quote it again. Paul calls false apostles dogs. Philippians 2, 3. Those who are shut out of the kingdom of heaven. No doubt, also destined to hell. Now, this is very interesting because one of the uh, scriptures that Rap uses, he's talking about the lady that was asking for her daughter to be healed or, or, or the demon cast out of her. And Jesus said, well, you know, you know, you shouldn't give the bread to the dogs. Notice what her reply is. Think about this because this is really, really important. Um, here's a little commentary on this. It says, watch of the house and of the flock. It says, the watch of the house and of the flock. Isaiah 56, 10, 11, Job 30, 11. Sometimes domestic, domesticated as the Syro-Phoenician woman's comparison and argument imply. The household, kurna, little or pet, dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Okay? And that's Matthew 15, 26, 27, and Mark 7, 27, 28. Now notice that she's calling him her master. And then what did he, how did he reply? He said, woman of great faith. He said, your, your wish is granted. Okay? That's key. That's okay, so here's another verse that should make uh, Rap's eyebrows raise a little bit. It really should think about this long and hard. Okay? It says, uh, 
For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whoever loveth and maketh a lie. And that's exactly what you're doing, Rap. You're making lies. You're omitting certain verses. You're calling true apostles of Christ false. Anytime you run across a scripture that you don't like, you say it's corrupted. You cherry pick verses left and right. You badmouth the New Testament, then you'll turn right around and use it. You're all over the map. I think you got mental problems. Serious anyway. Once again, we see here dogs, strongs, H, 3611. Means Caleb, dog. Okay? This gives it a little uh, breakdown and strongs what that is. Uh, this talks about Jezebel, the queen of Israel was eaten by dogs. So obviously dogs did have a bad image. But the lady was being very humble and Christ respected that and honored her request and healed her daughter. Here we have the definition between Jewish and Hebrew. Hebrew is another term which is often used to describe Jews. However, the term actually refers to descendants of Ebar. Abraham was Hebrew. And hence, all of his descendants were also technically Hebrews. But the term is reserved for those who are Israelites. Again, Jews, Israelites, Hebrews, pretty much the same thing. Put our Lord to death. And now what they're doing is they're putting his, his gospel to death. Notice that they deny him. They, they say he's not their Messiah, which is exactly what Rap is doing here. Doing the same thing that the, the Jewish people do over in Israel, pretty much. I mean, there are some Jewish Christians, but the bulk of them deny Christ. That's what Rap's doing. And I've already talked to you a little bit about uh, all scriptures God breathed. And um, so you shouldn't be cherry picking it to try to promote racism, build anger, division within the body. Um, it's just bad, bad news. You will stand judgment for that. It's a very dangerous situation. So I hope this video has helped. And with that, send Rap a love letter. Tell him what you think of his teaching. You guys take care. Bye now.